Alright, welcome everyone to Marvel Man's Game Room, and today we're going to be taking a look at the McFarlane Toys, Arkham Origins Deathstroke, and Arkham Asylum Deluxe Killer Croc. So let's take a look at their cards first. So first we're going to look at Deathstrokes. Deathstroke, Batman Arkham Origins. Batman Arkham Origins, video game. Real name, Slade Wilson. Slade Wilson was the Army's top operative when he under, underwent experiments that turned him into a super soldier with enhanced strength, stamina, and regenerative powers. When he was dishonorably discharged, he became the world's deadliest mercenary known as Deathstroke, a master of martial arts and an expert marksman. Deathstroke is a threat to even the most powerful superheroes. All right, so he comes with his sword, which also goes into his sheath and the back of his person right here. Doesn't look very good when it's in, so like it doesn't really fit that well. Oh wait, I'm supposed to be putting it in that way. Anyway. And yeah, it doesn't really look that good in there. As you can tell. And he doesn't come with any additional weapons. He does have a gun in a holster right there. He does come with the traditional black stand. Put that back on his foot there. Uh, he has the double jointed elbows on both sides. He's got this rubber portion of his armor here so that his arms can move up and down and left and right like that. He's got double jointed knees. He's got the toe thing right here, like so. Ha -ha. All in all, the armor looks fantastic. It looks like it's made out of like carbon fiber or something like that. Uh, the one eye that always Deathstroke always has exposed because the other eye has been stabbed out. Uh, these are a, a flexible plastic, but they're like on this small spot, so I wouldn't move these too much. You can hold the sword in this hand, which is primarily where it should be held. And then this hand is set for a gun. Now, he didn't come with a gun, but you can buy the gun packs for McFarlane Toys, and all those guns should fit in his hand. Me and myself, I have the uh, assault rifle usually displayed with him. He usually has the assault rifle in his hand. But that's pretty much it for Deathstroke. So let's move on to our boy Killer Croc here. Mr. Wilson. Or Waylon Jones. <clears throat> I don't know why I said Wilson. His name Wilson? That's why I said Wilson. <laughs> Deathstroke's last name is Wilson. Anyway, so Killer Croc from Arkham Asylum. Real name, Waylon Jones. Born with a rare mutation that made his skin green and scaly, and grew his body to grotesque proportions. Waylon Jones was raised by abusive aunt and bullied relentlessly for his appearance. He briefly worked as a carnival freak under the name Killer Croc, but his mis misanthropy grew as did his bestial nature, nature, pushing him to a life of crime. As his physical condition and mental status deteriorated, Killer Croc became a more bestial foe, increasingly detached from humanity eating people and whatnot. I love the design for Killer Croc in the Arkham games. It looks fantastic. Although I do not overly like the Arkham Knight one because he's a little bloated, but I do like the tail edition and that his mutation just went crazy after the trauma. So Waylon Jones does not come with any accessories. Um, his jaw does not move either, unlike the uh, DC Direct one, which we will look at at some point, but not right now. He has a, it looks like a single jointed elbow. He's 
Got this ball joint that goes up and down with his shoulder. It's got a crunch at the torso. It's got double jointed knees, however. It's got some super long claws, super long teeth. You can rotate his wrists. You can move it back and forth like so. It's got super long toenails. It comes with a black stand that says DC on it. Sorry, it's a little dusty. And I think it should go on this one because, just because. There we go. So that's Waylon Jones, Kill a Croc. Not much to him. It's one of the deluxe figures, so he's big and he came by himself. He also didn't come with any accessories at all. Kind of stinks, but, you know, he's Killer Croc. He doesn't really need accessories. And his collar doesn't even come off, unlike the DC Direct one. So that is Killer Croc and Deathstroke from the Arkham Games and McFarlane Toys. So if you enjoy this and want to see more like this, like, subscribe, and comment. I look at all comments. And I will catch you all next time on Marvel Man's Game Room. Peace out.